First to 10, State Superintendent Ryan Walters comes to Tulsa to meet with leaders from Tulsa Public Schools and the city. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. They talked about the improvements TPS has made so far and what's next. News on 6's Caitlin Deggs is live with what some parents also have to say. Caitlin. Craig and Lori, they tell me their kids are happy and are learning a lot this school year, especially when it comes to reading that we're resilient as a city, we're resilient as a school district. State Superintendent Ryan Walters and TPS Superintendent Ebony Johnson discussed the changes happening at the district and what the data says about those changes. One parent says he's thankful for TPS for helping his child catch up. When we moved here, we was homeless, and my son, he didn't learn anything from being homeless. So when he got here, he actually like went to the top of his reading level, his math level. Johnson says her main goal is to make changes that will help kids now, instead of several years down the line. She says they've already seen fewer kids being absent, higher scores, and a smaller drop in enrollment. We know that there's challenges. We have um, talked about those challenges. We have not shied away from acknowledging that we have work to do, but we're actually doing the work. Walters was complimentary of Johnson's work and says his main concerns with TPS are financial mismanagement, increasing reading scores, and turning around those schools that are struggling. I've said when I see problems, I've been very clear to Oklahomans and Tulsa's when I see issues and I'm also going to be really clear with Tolsons and Oklahomans when I see good things happening when I see those improvements made and so you know right now today I'm sitting here looking at good data another parent says she's already seen the improvements in her child's classroom and believes the district will keep getting more successful the superintendent we have now Dr. Johnson was actually one of my teachers so I think the students now are in great hands I mean she was a phenomenal teacher and TPS will be presenting new financial data at the state board meeting next month. And Walter says he's looking forward to seeing it. Live in Tulsa, Caitlin Deggs, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.